What is good guys, it's your boy StockJ back with another video and in this video I'm going to be doing a quick technical analysis of AMC stock. I'm going to go over some dark pool data. I'm going to go over what happened today, what the call option market is doing and what Ortex data is saying and what the shorts are saying and I have to say guys, we are up over 20%. Let's go. AMC is looking absolutely amazing. However, before I get started, I have to mention the thing I always have to say. I'm not a financial, legal, or taxation expert. So do not take this as legal, taxation, or financial advice. Also, if you can, please smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, but it benefits the entire Ape community as a whole. So I just wanted to apologize, guys. My last video, the audio did not work. I'm not sure what happened. I did record it with audio, but something went wrong. But whatever, I'm re-recording this real quick just for you guys because I admire the community. I want to help the community. I want to help everyone learn. With that said and done, guys, let's do a quick technical analysis of AMC stock. So overall, for the one-day chart, we are up over 20.34%. Let's go. We were up almost 27% at the peak before it began to consolidate we started off at 36 dollars and 35 cents testing that level of support we went as high as the 48 dollar level of resistance i know you guys remember that 48 was the big number of the past we were trying to beat that's a huge level of resistance we actually just barely touched it and actually went a little bit above it before it dropped as low as 42 began to consolidate and closing at 44 dollars and 26 cents so overall guys we are up and that's a very very good sign if you pull up a Bollinger brand chart based off the standard deviation of the price movement and what the pr previous price movement shows i'm basically trying to show you guys that we are bullish and still looking good amc did close on the higher end of where it could have been the highest it probably I mean, it could have closed based off the standard deviation was 44.83, but overall we're at 44.26, which is not much of a difference. But at the end of the day, guys, we are green 20 plus percent for the day. That's absolutely, absolutely incredible. I'm so happy and so proud of the apes right now. But I have to remind you guys that this is not a time to become comfortable. This is not the time for us to literally say that we won, throw our hands up. We're not throwing our hands up. We're not settling, guys. If anything, we have to become more focused and more convicted for the future because big things are are yet to come but i want to show you guys something very very interesting um let me pull up the six month chart for amc right over here actually let me pull up the one year chart because i think one year would be a lot better but if anything you could see this pennant forming right over here you could see the pennant forming right over here and if anything after the pennant formed amc is having the outbreak it's having the breakout up right there looking really really good but the reason i want you guys to know some things i want you guys to be prepared for many many scenarios because the hedge funds are angry they're very very angry and they're going to do things they're going to try to manipulate the stock price and i want you to know that so i'm not trying to be pessimistic i'm not trying to spread fun we are winning and i still believe in the squeeze the squeeze will happen it's just that i want you to know that what the hedge funds are doing and before i do that let's look over the volume real quick the volume was at 228 million for the day let's go the average volume for the week was 71 million. So overall, the volume is up and that's a huge, huge, huge sign. It's more than four times higher than the average. And the, because the volume picked up, we were waiting for this and it happened. However, out of the 20, 228 million in the volume, look at this. 64% of the trades today happen on the dark pools. I go over this in all my videos. I know, and that's just absolutely insane that almost two thirds of AMC is happening on the dark pools. That's just absolutely insane. But despite that, despite the fact that 64% happen on the dark pools, and the fact that the volume is so high, despite that, we still had an amazing, amazing breakout, which shows that AMC is becoming stronger. We're becoming much, much stronger. A long time ago, the hedge funds were able to bring AMC down. Look, they pushed it from 72 down to as low as 42. But look at what's happening right now. They're pushing it down, pushing it down, but it still goes up. It has been stair-stepping its way up for the past uh, few weeks. If you look at it in the second week of August, uh, or like the first week of August, it was at 28 then we hit around 30, around 32, then we hit 36. Now we're as high as 48, closing at $44.26 for the day. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. But look at what the hedge funds are thinking. The hedge funds are seeing these numbers, that the next calls in the money are going to be expiring at $45, which would be the strike price. That's at 104,000 of them. The amount of shares available to borrow is at 200,000, but that's based off reported data and maybe much, much, much lower than that, considering that it's much, much harder for any shares to be out there because the SEC and the new pieces of regulation are cracking up on what is going on. They're cracking up on the dark pools despite everything that has been happening. Let's look at the short interest is still at 18%. It's a little bit higher compared to where it was yesterday. So the short interest did go slightly up 
18% means that almost 100 million shares, if the float is only 513 million, have to be brought up. It's probably much, much, much higher. The utilization is looking good. Shares on loan, still 105 million. So that this is all looking good, guys. This is why AMC was set up for where you know, it ha ended up going. But I want you guys to know something very, very important, and that is technical analysis may not be perfect. And I've talked to you guys about this in the past. Technical analysis is not always perfect because there are so many nuances in the data. There's so many attacks that happen. But I was telling you guys for the past few weeks, if you were watching my videos, that AMC, my prediction was AMC would hit the 40s by this week. And that's exactly what happened. I did think, I did uh, end up thinking that it would happen either this week or next week. But at the end of the day, it did happen based off technical analysis, based off the short interest and in utilization going up. It's also based off the price movements and the way AMC has been steer stepping its way up. Based off all of that, I was able to tell you that it would hit the 40s, and that's exactly what happened. Now, I can't promise you that we're just going to straight up explode and hit 50, 60, 70, 100. I can't explode. I can't promise that's going to happen right now. There are going to be ups and downs. They're still going to happen. It might reach 50 by next week. It might drop as low as 44 again. It might go higher to 60. Those things can happen. And I'm going to give you my price prediction a little bit later, but I want you guys to see something very, very interesting. And right over here, we can see the short volume percentage of AMC. This is how many out of all the volume, how much of it is short volume. And you'll see that there was a big attack on 820 at 61% short volume. We'll check this out. What happened on 820 and the one day chart. Uh, let me pull up the five day chart. Excuse me. Look, A20, AMC went as low as 32. It tested that level of support because the hedge funds attacked it. So I want you to know the hedge funds are still going to try to attack it. So I want you to be prepared. If you see a drop as low as 40 again, be prepared, guys, to buy the dip. Keep on pushing forward and do not give up. Do not panic if that happens. I'm simply telling you that the hedge funds want to manipulate. That doesn't mean I don't believe in AMC. I, I doesn't mean I don't believe in this movement, but I am still very, very bullish. So finally, guys, considering that the hedge funds are attacking it, I'm just going to quickly give you my stock price predictions for where I see AMC going. So I think that tomorrow we're going to have another run up. We're going to test the 50s because Pretty soon, it's very probable that a FOMO rally is going to start. There is so much hype. I mean, it just exploded. 228 million on the volume. Pretty soon, volume is going to pick up, pick up, pick up. We're going to see AMC hit the 50s, maybe even the 60s. And for all those who are listening, it may actually end up beating the $72 uh, level of resistance, which it, it had to fight a long time ago. It might end up beating that very, very soon in the upcoming month or two. And I do believe the FOMO rally is going to start. This may be the start of the FOMO rally. And if anything, when the FOMO rally starts, that will lead to, it will most likely lead to a gamma squeeze. So for my price prediction for tomorrow, just tomorrow, I see AMC touching the 50, consolidating, closing around maybe the 45 or $46 level of resistance. I do think that's where it's going to close. And then after that, I think for next week, we're going to see AMC touch the 50s. That's just my prediction based off technical analysis because it is still stepping its way up and the volume is picking up. So this is just one day it hit 200 million. What's going to happen when it hits 500 million, 600 million, 700 million, 800 million? We were seeing that. We were seeing 800 million in terms of volume back when it hit $72. So I'm predicting massive, massive movements for the near upcoming future. And that doesn't even include the squeeze. So I do see big movements in the near term for the next month. And also, guys, you can't forget the squeeze is on the table, the mother of all short squeezes. When I talk about AMC going to the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, that does not mean the mother of all short squeezes. The mother of all short squeezes is going to be something you've never seen before, something even higher. And that's based off technical analysis. Now, Obviously, guys, the stock market can't guarantee anything. I'm simply giving you my advice and what I know, and I'm not a financial advisor, so I can't promise anything, but I'm just letting you guys know, based off technical analysis, AMC has massive, massive potential. You can't forget about what Renaissance Technologies did. You can't forget about all the big money that came in. AMC is ready to hit the moon, and we are all prepared. But I want you guys to say, know something. Do not become too complacent. We keep buying. We keep on, keep on buying, keep on holding, and we are going to... To win so thank you so much for listening guys I, it really really means the world to me I, I do apologize for my last video where the audio was cut out i deleted i deleted it and i i'm real up uploading this so thank you we're going to win and we never ever ever give up so with that said and done guys peace out expect the best and even in the worst scenario, we do the same thing. We buy and hold and never ever quit. AMC is going to Pluto and with that said peace out.